Welcome to Starfield and 25 spoiler free tips and tricks that will make your start much easier and give you the best possible start. Starfield offers a wealth of possibilities and options, especially at the beginning of the game, and it's worth avoiding one or two pitfalls or mistakes. Tip number one, navigation and menus. As a typical Bethesda game, you will spend a lot of time in menus, be it your inventory, abilities or the star map. Therefore, it pays to familiarize yourself with the hotkeys and navigation options early on to avoid frustration and spending a lot of time in menus. Especially, the hotkeys are a good way to jump to the right place or save you from clicking through the menus. Tip number 2. Character creation. You can of course create your own character and spend an extreme amount of time doing so. There are dozens of sliders, presets, hairstyles and more that you can experiment with. But the one thing to keep in mind here is that you don't have to perfect your avatar right away. In fact, there are countless ways in stores to change and customize your character's appearance later on, for a small fee. Besides, we wear a helmet most of the time anyway. Tip number 3. The background selection. After you have completed your character's appearance, you need to choose your background. This doesn't affect the story significantly, but it directly determines three starting abilities. So choose wisely, especially if you have special role-playing ideas. Our tip here is to choose useful skills at the beginning. For example, as an industrialist, where you directly get persuasion, security and research methods, which can be used directly at the beginning and bring good bonuses. Because skills that you can only really use later in the game are of little use to you at the beginning. And don't worry, you'll unlock all the areas you want through the level system anyway. Here it's really just about choosing the first three starting bonuses. Tip number 4. Your traits or characteristics. Starfield also introduces different characteristics, the traits. These offer different advantages and sometimes disadvantages. For example, the alien DNA trait provides increased health and oxygen levels, but makes healing and food items less effective. But not all traits are binding. Here yeah, we recommend traits that fit your playstyle. But don't worry, in the House of the Enlightened, in the city of New Atlantis, you can remove and reset traits. Our tip, however, is to use traits, especially at the start, which can offer you very lucrative opportunities. Because with the faction traits, you get significantly more credits when we complete corresponding quests for factions. And each faction has a complete questline to offer here. For example, we had a very good experience with the United Colonies. Tip number 5. Skills and challenges when leveling up. The first thought about leveling up and spending a skill point is as if we only spent a skill point to unlock a skill and then enable more levels by completing challenges. In fact, we need both, because we need to complete a challenge first and then spend the skill point to gain a new level. Therefore, plan your level ups accordingly, with skills where you can also complete the necessary challenges. So we come to tip number 6. Spread skills widely. Every time we level up, we get one skill point, so it's very tempting to focus on one particular skill tree. But it's advisable to spread yourself out more broadly at first. Certain abilities like the Commerce ability or the Boost Spec Training ability are useful for almost every playstyle, with extreme specializations only providing an advantage for individual areas. Tip number 7. Pick locks. As usual, with Bethesda titles, we always find locks that we can't pick. Therefore, it is extremely advisable to open these locks as effectively as possible without wasting the digital lockpicks, that is, the digipicks. With security level 2, this process is then made much easier. We recommend that you first count the gaps on the lock and then compare the available picks. If we have 5 gaps and picks with 2 and 3 markers, we can choose the appropriate ones in advance and the chance of losing a digipick is very low. Number 8. The load and its effects. The overload we already had to fight with in Skyrim returns, but in slightly different form. Because if we carry more mass than our character allows, even normal running will strain our oxygen supply. This is because when the oxygen is depleted, carbon dioxide begins to accumulate, indicated by the red bar in the lower left. If we then accumulate too much carbon dioxide, we will actually take damage. In addition, 
too much carrying weights prevents fast travel. Tip number 9. Spaceship functions in storage. The spaceship in Starfield, which is already your first starter vehicle, has a huge cargo hold and you can store an enormous amount of things in it. To access it, you need to exit it from your ship menu. Just go in the ship section of your main menu and you can easily access the cargo hold. Also, avoid storing items in warehouses or containers on planets. Otherwise, you will have to constantly travel from planet to planet. In your ship, you'll always have access to all your valuable items and resources, no matter where you are. And another important point about storage, especially when you are on the ground and overloaded, you can use your companions as mobile storage. Displace as many items as you can with them. You can even customize their equipment. Tip number 10. Companions and crew members. In the game, you'll encounter numerous possible companions. Some will join you because of the story, others can be hired for credits. These companions bring different skills and can complement your team in many ways. So, it's the best to choose the team that fits your own playstyle. Tip number 11. Persuasion. Sometimes you will meet characters that you can convince. In these conversations, it is therefore important to carefully weigh all dialogue options in order to achieve the most desirable outcome. In addition, special skills or characteristics can of course give you an advantage. Tip number 12. Clothing and equipment. In the cities, it is not advisable to walk around in a spacesuit all the time. Fortunately, there's a direct option that lets you swap your spacesuit and helm for casual civilian clothes to integrate more immersively with the population. Tip number 13. Economy and currency. In the beginning, you'll quickly be tempted to pack up and loot everything worth a few hundred credits. But these are not worthwhile items unless you need them for crafting or as equipment. You will quickly find items worth several thousand credits and it would be a shame to run out of capacity or you have to remove the more worthless items first. Number 14. Trade with merchants. When selling items to merchants, pay attention to how many credits they have left. If you exceeded the maximum amount of the merchant has available, you will not receive any more money for what you sold and you'll give away your hard-earned items free. Therefore, always check the merchant's account balance before making a transaction. Tip number 15. Stolen goods and contraband. There is a difference between stolen items and contraband. While stolen items are taken directly from NPCs, contraband is acquired legally, so to speak, but is identified as illegal when inspected. Tip number 16. Space travel basics. Space travel naturally plays a central, albeit very accurate heavy role in Starfield. However, you can always access your star map anywhere and jump to already discovered locations or move faster. But be careful, jumping with your ship consumes fuel and you don't want to get stranded somewhere. Tip number 17. Wayfinding and travel. If you want to find your way in cities or on planets, use your scanner. It can show you the way. It also allows you to easily switch between different systems, areas or planets. Tip number 18. Planetary exploration. You can land on any planet in Starfield and explore it. For this, you get experience points and, of course, loot. It is worthwhile to discover the different characteristics as well as the flora and fauna of the planet with your scanner. Number 19. Sleep bonus. In Starfield, there is an XP bonus for sleeping well. A complete sleep cycle grants you an XP bonus for 24 hours of play, an absolute must. In addition, with enough sleep, you heal without food or medicine. Only disease need to be treated additionally. Tip number 20. The Photo Mode. You can call up the photo mode via the pause menu or the hotkey. And photos you take with the in-game screenshot function will appear later as a loading screen. Tip 21. Red Barrels. Red Barrels are the same in all computer games. Shoot them and cause large area damage that can work wonders against very strong enemies. Tip 22. Well, First aid kits. Always be on the lookout for medicines and other useful medical items like first aid kits. You simply can't have enough of them. In addition, you pay at the dealer a decent price for it. Tip number 23. Waypoints. Use your journal to switch between different quest waypoints and all available waypoints. You can also use it to set a course or fast travel. Tip number 24. Ammo and the mining laser. Many weapons in Starfield share ammo types and especially in the beginning, ammo is often the scarce good. 
So make sure to have a variety in your loadout to be able to use different ammo types as well. As a fallback level, you can also use your mining laser, which does a good job as a weapon in an emergency. In addition, its energy recharges easily and you don't need ammunition for it. So the perfect fallback weapon. Tip 25. Computers. Use computers to get additional information about the story or certain areas. Also, you'll always get important access codes to secret or hidden areas that are very worthwhile. And if you know more tips and tricks for Starfield, let us know in the comments, the daily Twitch livestreams or in our Discord. See you soon, goodbye!